Hey everybody out there, if you are a hockey fan, this is a hockey game to catch. This is your announcer, Razor Razor Sharp, and today we have the Traverse City 9U Squirt Single A Travel Team taking on a team that made a pretty long trip up here, the Kalamazoo K-Wings, and we are ready to rock the ice. It is a zero to zero score when it starts, but what will it be at the end? Well, that remains to be seen. We have 13 minutes on the clock here in the first period because we are watching travel hockey, higher level hockey than house of court, so they give them a little more time on the clock. 13 minutes versus 12, I believe. And here comes the North Stars up the ice. Rocco is going to grab that puck from the K-Wings zone, number 77. Tyler Rocco is coming into the offensive zone. Gains the blue line, takes a shot. That puck will be lifted over the net as the netminder for the North Stars was ready and did not have to be able. We're going to find out who that goalie is soon. If he turns around and gives me his number. I do have to see the number of the goaltenders to get their names sometimes as I get the roster so late we are rocking already here comes Rocco as I say the word rocking he gains the blue line he's gonna try to shoot from a mile out that's gonna be handled by the goaltender pause action and go to a faceoff as that is Seaforth I'll get that name for you Mr. Seaforth Griffin Seaforth is the young man between the pipes what a hockey family that is. There are definitely some Seafirst playing hockey in this area. Another shot across the blue paint. And Griffin Seafirst will let that go past and let his defense do their job in the corner. Traverse City will try to gather this puck up, but it stays in the zone for the K-Wings. Out the center ice we go. This puck will go in the offensive zone. These nine-year-olds are already working hard on a Saturday afternoon. And that puck will be handled by the netminder as he hands it to the linesman, the Kalamazoo netminder. We're going to get that name as soon as I know it. That will come. I'll have to see the number and name. We are in the offensive zone for Traverse City. The faceoff will be taken. But here comes Kalamazoo taking that puck out of the zone. Defenders are everywhere. Red and white was everywhere for that defense. This puck will stay in the zone for Kalamazoo though. Rocco will fire the puck off of the body and the pads of that player in front of the net. This could be a chance for the North Stars as Keller tried to get in but just couldn't quite make it as the hockey stop was defended well. Keller will gather this puck up and he'll flip it up into the offensive zone and go do some dump and chase but Keller Mizzou will gather once again. Here comes a player on the backhand pass as Rocco. That puck is at neutral ice now. This puck will be gathered up. This puck will come back out to center ice and chasing that puck is Rocco. Tyler Rocco has had that puck a lot in this game. Challenge on the set in front. That puck did not make it to the correct area for the pass or that could have been a bang bang play. Will not happen. This puck will go deep in the offensive zone. Rocco once again will get to this puck in his backhand. Here comes one number eight for Trevor City. A little stop of Jackson. Kalamazoo gathering this back up. Combustion of players. Bradfield sends a pass to the front of the paint. And Insana, number 12, 
Mason and Sana could not put that home. Didn't even get a blade on that puck. But it was the right idea. Good defense here for Traverse City. There's going to be a chance here for Traverse City. Grabs up. Here comes Mason and Sana on the left wing. Flying up the ice. Going to be defended. But turns on the Jets. Gets down in the corner. Has a chance. Sets up in front. And he shoots. And the save is made by the netminder for Kalamazoo K-Wings. That is Ava Zirik, I believe. And doing a good job in the net already with a couple shots on goal. Traverse City in the offensive zone taking that face off of me, number seven. Parker Lowe is going to battle in the face off shot. That was going to brought over. There's going to be a backhand. A shot. It's a goal. And the backhand rings true for that young player. I believe that was a number 11 for the North Stars. Let's look up his name. I'm trying to. Is that him? I'm trying to see the number. Is it 13? Kaysen? Kaysen Stull, I believe. If I got the number right. I believe that was the one who just scored a goal. Kaysen Stull, congratulations. You have put your team on the board. Shot down from Boss, number five. That's Eric Boss. This puck will be handled by Zirik. Zirik gathers the puck up and hands it back to the linesman. We'll go to another draw. I remember the name Zirik. I was doing a game last year in Kalamazoo and the goaltender for Kalamazoo, Ava Zirik has a brother who is a sensational hockey player. I believe was a defenseman. I've been around. I've been to a lot of games in Michigan, all over the place. I travel with my son's team. And uh, now, he called the goal for the right person that I thought it was. I can't really see some of the numbers and names when it happens so fast, but we caught, ooh. He is absolutely slammed to the ice. I do believe there's no checking. There is no checking in this league, but physicality does happen. Olinger tried to move that puck over. Whitmore. This puck will get out of the zone. Kellen Mazoo is going to try to regather. That puck will go down in. Cork, number 18, is going to chase. That's Solomon Cork. And here comes Trevor City. Pass off between the legs. Holland couldn't handle it. Number 20. Vaughn Holland could not handle the pass between his legs, or that could have been a break in. This puck will go down in the corner. Whitmore will chase. Number 8 for the K Wings. Noel Whitmore. Number 93 have gotten this puck up for the K-Wings. That is Brody McCammon. This puck will go deep in the offensive zone for Traverse City and chasing this puck is number 19. Puts it up the sideboards. This puck will come to neutral ice. We'll go back in. Manning gets that puck, 93. McCammon. Back down to the defensive end. Set out. Cork is going to handle this on D. Going to get back up to his offensive recipients, but will pass everybody, and it will go for a nice scene. Everybody wants to just take this time to say we have a wild election going on. Whether you are a Democratic or Republican, you are probably just wanting this thing to get over and move on so the United States can settle in and start over However that may be, just want to say great job to all the people that got out and voted. It is your right to vote, and many people got out there and did their job as this puck is loose, and they will call it down back to a face-off. 
But remember, we are all Americans, and it is about the United States of America. It is not about one color, one race, one creed. It isn't about unity. Especially at a time like this. Let's welcome the new president in when we find out who that is. Oh, this puck will go to Sen Rice, chasing it to get that puck as wood, but he's got three defenders back in front. Doesn't make it in front of the net, and here comes the K Wings up the ice. Flying up the ice is that player. Gains the blue line, shoots off the pads of the defender. Stouffer. Stouffer sends out front. There's a rebound. Doesn't get quite to a stick. Dawn. Rockle. Had some time and space for a second. This puck is going to be sent out to center ice, but it is cut off by Stouffer from the K-Wings. We will go to another face-off. That is Easton Stouffer with a T. Stouffer. Face-off. With 5.15 left in the first period, we still have a score of 1-0 for the home team. Kalamazoo's been putting a lot of pressure on, though. That puck will come down, and Zerich will smother this puck and live to see another face-off. As you go up in ranks and you go up in divisions of hockey, it seems that size is a big deal when it comes to goaltenders. But when you watch these kids when they're smaller, the cat-like instincts and the tiny, the tiny little movements they do to stop pucks, not using size of the body, but movement is just amazing to watch. Athleticism is what it's all about as a goaltender. And if you can't skate, don't even try to be a goaltender because it has been said the best skater on the ice is usually the goalie. A lot of people don't know that, but that is true. The type of angles you have to make and turns and lateral movement and splits and flexibility is just amazing. Sometimes they are underrated, but I know what they're all about. They are usually the reason you win or lose. But with a goaltender, the goaltender can only be as good as their defense in front of them as well. Just a little tidbit from Razor Razor Sharp on goaltending. As we move into 425 left in the first period. We'll have a stoppage of action on offsides. <laughs> and the faceoff happens in neutral ice. This bug will be backhanded, but. Brought up to center by K-Wings. Carlson battling there with Whitmore. Balger grabs the puck. Keller had the puck momentarily. Whitmore will try to get in the zone. Whitmore will gain the zone. This puck will come all the way down the corner. Cork will be there. Olinger was racing in to get that puck and couldn't get to it. Williams sends that over the front of the net. There's going to be a chance here. Backhand! Doesn't make it on net because the good defense in front of the cage. Bunch of players fall down there. Here's going to be a chance. Tried to stick handle out front and lost the handle for a second. Did that player for the K-Wings. Bolger tried to make an inside move. Watch out, here's a chance. Good defense, leaves the puck there though. A shot, doesn't get the shot off. Here's another shot, off the pads, a rebound. That puck could have been put away by Keller, number 19, Graham Keller. But sometimes it's a game of inches and that's what it was there. Rockle. Traverse City's got the puck out, out of the point, but here comes the K-Wings. Could have a three on two developing, but loses the puck in the skates because Whitmore. Tyler Rockle passes up. 
Okay, wings out to the outside. Nice move to the inside. Whitmore, number eight. Number eight's going to come down on the sideboards. He's just going to look to put the puck out in front of the net. He'll do that. That puck is stopped with a stick, put it in the other center and pass. It's put out front. Justin in the nick of time with the defense for Traverse City who got to that puck and got it out of harm's way. Whitmore gathers the puck up. Backhands out front. Nobody's there with Traverse City. Sent up. Here comes Wood on the right wing. Wood's got a backhand pass he can make, but he can't make it because that great play by the, def the defender for the K-Wings was there. The Cammon. The Cammon's now flying up the left wing. He made that great defensive play. He's going to try to shoot, but a small out play by Cavanaugh, number 24. Here comes the North Stars. This puck will come up the center. Volante to Devon. Devon runs into a red and white player. And that play goes no further. Asana. Good chance there in the in the slot for a second, we defended well on Devon. That's right, we do have one minute ticking down in the first period with a one nothing lead for the Traverse City North Stars. Watch out, this could be a break, it will be. In alone is gonna be number eight. Number eight's gonna make a move a shot. What a save! What a save on Graham Wood, who had nothing but Hundreds and hundreds of yards if you're talking about a football game to get to the net and face off against Zurich. And Zurich came up on top with a pad save. And it's still one to nothing. Thirty seconds left in the first period. Watch out, this could be a break in. Vester trying to shoot, but catching up with that puck was number seven, Low for Trevor City. Parker Low got those skates moving and defended that chance. We have an offside. Come on, feel the noise. Does this period starts to move toward a conclusion this game is heating up one nothing but very competitive the seconds will tick down we'll move to a second period as we move to a second period I'd like to have a little bit of conversation so so far we're seeing two teams that came to play in all facets of hockey whether it be offense defense I mean rushes have been there the goaltender's been playing well. Very good save by Zurich on the breakaway. That could have had a two-goal lead for the Traverse City North Stars. We are listening to the announcer there. I just want to say, so far, we have a great hockey game. Very competitive. Everybody out there, please tell all your friends about the Razor Razor Sharp Hockey Network as we have raised the game, raised the bar. I don't know anybody that's doing hockey in 4k for anybody out there but you can watch this in 4k resolution and your head will spin off your shoulders it is amazing i am the announcer razor razor sharp until the second period saying hockey out <laughs>